There are people who on the outside dress the way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves. On the outside talk the way Allah loves. On the outside do what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves. But on the inside the intention is absolutely corrupt. And then there are people who don't do anything that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves. They leave the religion altogether. They say, I love the religion. I'll die for the religion. I love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and His Messenger. But on the outside, there is no sign of religion at all. My question is, my brothers and sisters, Wallahi, the outside appearance is not significant to me at all. To me. To Allah, between you and Allah, this is something for you to work on. But for me, the outside appearance is not the most important thing. And Rasul Sallallahu said, "Inna Allah la yanzur ila suwarikum, walakin yanzur ila qulubikum wa a'malikum." Allah does not look at your outside appearance, but He looks at your hearts and then at your actions. A person who wants to look like a particular model, or like a particular look, he may have or she may have appearances on their body that are unacceptable in Islam. They may have certain features on their body which they have put on that are the features of un-Islamic behavior and looks. My question is not what you have on you, not the look that you have, but the question is why do you have this? Why? Why are you doing what you are doing? If you want to look like a gangster, for example, or a thug, or a strong person, or you want to look like you're a person who no one can mess with. Or you want to look like a person who is pious. A person who loves Allah and His Messenger. A role model of Islam. My question is, why do you want to do that? Why? Question your intention. Why, do, why am I doing this? Both of them are in danger if the niyyah is not right. How? If a person looks a wrong appearance, why are you doing that? Is it because you want to show off? Do you want everybody to say, there goes a strong gangster? There goes a person who no one can mess with? There goes a strong person? There goes a person who I should fear? Do you want respect? What are you doing it for? The person who is pious, looks pious on the outside. What are you doing it for? There goes a person who is pious. So when you speak, everybody is quiet and then they can listen to you. Because when I am in a gathering, I want to be the person who speaks and no one else. If this is the intention, my brother or sister in Islam, I advise you from the bottom of my heart. Then you are heading towards a very bad end. And the shaitan has gotten the better of you. You should re-analyze your intention. There are people who look at others and they advise others about what they are doing wrong. My question to those people who are advising, why are you advising them? What is the purpose for your advice? Are you advising them really because you want the best for your brother and sister in Islam so Allah can be pleased with you? So that it can be in your hasanat, your scales on the day of judgment? Or are you advising them for a different reason? For some wrong reason? Then there are those who tell off the others who are not practicing. Or tell off those who are practicing. And the shaitan has worked his way in such a manipulative manner these days. And for example, you may see somebody who has, mashallah, grown their beard. Or a sister who is wearing a khimar or niqab or whatever it may be. And then a person comes along and says, look, they're only growing it, their beard, because they want to show off. Look at me. But look at their actions. Then a sister who comes up with khimar or niqab. Look at them. They're wearing their niqab or khimar. Because, and, but then look at their actions. I'd rather not wear anything, not grow my beard, not pray, not wear anything of hijab if I'm going to be like that. My question to you is, why did you let the shaitan get the better of you? If these people, their actions and their intentions are not in sync, why do your actions and intentions not have to be in sync? For example, if a person prays, you know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in several places in the Quran ordered us to pray. Just because you saw some people who pray and then on the outside they cheat. Why should I leave the salat just because of them? Are you a servant of these people or are you a servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala?
You can be the only person on the face of the earth whose intentions and actions are straight and you'll end up in Jannah while the rest are corrupt. He will judge them alone and he will judge you alone.